Hello and welcome to the Swift Race Place. I'm Kate Fravel. I'm back with your weekly dose of Swift Racing knowledge in the Community Division Coaching Tips series from the Swift Race Place. It's a bit of a longer video this week, so I'm going to get into it in just a moment. But first, real quick, I want to remind you to sign up for VGanuary starting on January 2nd and running every Saturday throughout the month of January. And also, don't forget to check out our other coaching tips videos in the Community Division Coaching Tips playlist linked at the end of this video. All right, that's about all from me. Here is Leonard Tugels, the Zwifter, giving your coaching tip this week on how to win flatter races when you are not a sprinter. Enjoy. Hello everyone and welcome in this uh, little tips and tricks video for uh, the Zwift race place. My name is Leonard Burgos. I'm actually a, a, a road racer who, who discovered uh, Zwift only recently. I'm riding for Carteletto Isorex on the road and uh, my Zwift team is uh, the Belgian Zwift riders. I have some hints for you about the race tactics as being a non-sprinter like me. like. Obviously, the problem is in Zwift, 90% of the races, they end up in a sprint. Uh, and the other 10% is yeah, just watts per kilogram. So you need to have a decent tactic uh, in the sprint races, which you can only also exercise in the sprint races. So what's my problem? I'm, I don't have an extra kick. I can do 30 seconds, 30 seconds for like 12 watts per kilogram is easy, but I don't have this is thousand watts this thousand plus so um, you need to win a bit on the psychology of uh, of racers and it's kind of similar uh, in road racing and actually it should be easier to trick a peloton in Zwift racing because in the road racing especially in the UCI racing you have a lot of teams who work together for one guy and in Zwift it's more individual so you kind of need to put your mind on that you need to know that everyone wants to win himself or herself um, so what I always try to do there is three good moments to attack and it depends a bit on the course so you need to know the course and the parkour a bit to decide which one is the best but there is three good moments uh, to attack from far like the first option is to go from really far it's something I did only yesterday in the KISS 100 race series I attacked 40 or 50k to go it was a really long race um, but I would say more than 20 kilometers so the first option is to go from far and it's it's kind of cheap there is good moments where you can ride away at maybe six seven watts per kilo no one really cares everyone thinks ah, oh, it's still too far um, so you kind of get easy 20 30 seconds for free and then is then the difficult part starts of course but if you keep riding around your FTP, yeah, it can work out if you are strong enough. Another moment I would suggest is like around five minutes to go. It depends a bit of uh, your own strengths. And when I study my power numbers, my five minute power is, is really strong. Um, so yeah, five minutes, it's about 4k to go, depends on the, on the finish, of course. But if you go at that moment, everyone is still in... They are already thinking at the sprint, but they are still thinking on a breakaway, maybe some of them too. So that could be a good moment to go with a couple of guys. Uh, and then the last one, if, 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 if it didn't work out earlier or you just want to try something, is around one kilometer. One kilometer, not closer than that, because if you would really try a late attack at 600 meters or something, yeah, no one is surprised anymore. Everyone is just waiting if it's going to be a long sprint. Uh, or a short sprint so yeah you can't really surprise them anymore but if you go at one kilometer and they are surprised and you have a gap of two three seconds usually you hold it like if you have like me not not that that super kick but you can do it for a long time like this one minute power it would be a, a really good moment um, so I would just suggest Zwift racing is so much always sprinting at the moment so if you are not a sprinter try something I see so many riders who ride to the finish uh, with five six sprinters who are for sure faster than them and then I ask myself why and it's just the same as in road racing in road racing yeah everyone tries something so 
everyone asks himself in Zwift, ah, is it maybe the way we write or is it the way Zwift is programmed? And I really think that it's in the mind. Breakaways are possible. I did two breakaways successful in the last 10 days, so I don't see why it should be not possible. Um, and another hint I would give, and it supports onto that, try also in, on Zwift as well as in real life to improve your best points. There is always this discussion, should you train what you are good at or should you train what you are not good at? My opinion is you should train what you are good at. For me, I will never be a good sprinter with this, with this extra punch. So if I do for my 66 kilos, 65 kilos, something like that, it depends. But if I do for that weight 850 or 900 watts, Make it 950. I will. I will. I'm still not a sprinter. Uh, it's 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 impossible to 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 raise my watts to 1,100. I feel it. I, I can't do it. But if I can raise my FTP high enough that I'm still fresh enough, because I see in a lot of sprints where the course has been hard enough. Also, the best sprinters who usually sprint 1,200, 1,300 watts. Uh, they don't have it anymore. They can do maybe just thousand. So if you can go from far enough then you can't beat a good sprinter So make sure you are fresh enough at the at the finish So that were the hints. Uh, I hope uh, you learned something about it and you will try it. So uh, I'm ha happy to see some people attack uh, instead of waiting um, so go on right on attack Alright guys, that is the video for this week. I hope you enjoyed, and just remember, if you want to be featured on the Community Division Coaching Tips series, just fill out the form linked in the description below. Alright, see you here next week, and thank you for watching.